Alright, Shano here. Um, I've got a nice little Photoshop tutorial today. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is show you how to do a cool background border for your YouTube background. Um, don't mind if I'm whispering a little bit because it's late at night and everybody's trying to sleep. So I'm just keeping my voice low. Um, Alright, so first well we're gonna get started on hurry so what you wanna do is open up your template of the background and I'll just grab this one because it's a big one over uh, like one layer going over the whole thing so it makes it easier for me Um, next what you wanna do is just create a new layer create a background like so Um, just put that a bit of a gray there and now there you have it. Right, next what you want to do is zoom in just to about 50%. Go to this one, go to layer style, blend in options, and click stroke. Okay, now bring uh, bring this size to 1. Bring the, uh, was it change the color to white? And put the blend in options to overlay. Okay. Next, what you want to do is click on outer outer glow. Now, put it to black. Change screen to normal, and just leave it like that as it is. Right. At the moment, when you zoom in to uh, two hundred percent, that's the border that you have. Right. Next, what you want to do is change the color of the actual um inside uh, background bit to the uh, say a very darkish grey and in fact we're going to change the background to black which means that you won't be able to see our border for a moment don't worry uh, just click on your brush tool, bring this size up to uh, say 1000 roughly, 1200. Yeah. Oh god. Anyway, yeah, then bring the hardness down to zero. Set the color to white. Uh, create a new layer just above the background. And just drag down like that. Be aware of that. Just as you come up here, don't have it just going too far. Actually, it doesn't really matter to be honest. It's going to be lower. The bring the opacity down to say, say 20, 21 ish. Right. Next, what you want to do is uh, go onto your top layer, go to uh, click this little button here. Well, click and hold and go to gradient map right so now it will bring you your four color and your back color up as your gradient but you want to change to whatever color you want like just say I'm going to change it to purple just because my background is purple right, and I'm going to put that one as a light pinky color and this one as a dark purpley color ok and now I'm going to change that to overlay and that's a first and that's our start right so next what you want to do is create um, go to new layer go to your rectangular marquee tool create one a uh, one pixel line about this this big roughly uh, a one pixel line and make it white now just trim the edges a bit and fade the edges out a bit like that and bring it up here now what we're going to do next is just go in a bit Duplicate the layer just by pressing Alt and Up 
on the keypad and then bring the copy down and just hide it for a minute um, ok now click the original line and press ctrl T and then just rotate a tiny bit ok next what you want to do is just set that to overlay then press alt and up Oops. click on the screen alt up and then bring it back yeah just leave it like that and press that as color dodge the second layer as color dodge then group these two together by pressing uh, control group oops I forgot the um, select the two of them control G for um, as a group and as you can see they're now grouped together now uh, was it make this one now visible and do the same just kind of control T do that a little bit and there we go and now just uh, as just say just whatever looks decent like you're not really meant to you can make a nice effect out of this when you're done um, now so far you have that it doesn't look great at all now first but just wait till we're finished next what you want to do is go to here just kind of scroll along with that bit too far out. right create new layer go to brush change this from down to about say 4 put this at 4 pixels and the hardness up to 100 now go over to your brush uh, your brush tool kit thing uh, click shape dynamic and bring the opacity down to zero and the uh, size zitter, jitter down to zero zitter, the fuck? Um, yeah so just bring the size jitter down to zero and make sure everything else is at zero and then just go to um, the pen tool and stroke path make sure you have the color white on and simulate make sure simulate pressure is ticked and as you can here it's not exactly great but then come to press come to filter press uh, go to this uh, distort and ripple now bring up to go somewhere about four or five hundred roughly and it comes up with that actually that's a bit too much ripple and go to the start again Ripple, bring it down to about say 350. Just so you know, bring the gradient map up to here, up to the top layer. And get this here now. Um, Next, what you want to do is just click, right click on it, on the layer, and then bring, give it an outer glow just to kind of give it that plasmic feel. And then just, well, it's a bit too out of the line, so what we're going to do is Control T, actually zoom in first so you can see it a bit better. bit too far in zoom out and control T once more right click go to warp and just bring that in
sweet. Alright, so now you're done that. I'm just gonna put that out there. Next, so you should have something along the lines of that. Right? Next, what you want to do is just create and go to here, do that, bang, bang, and just kind of do it from at the corner. Simple line. Um, and then just create new layer and make sure your brush is the same. Go to stroke pass, simulate pressure, and then you have that line there. And just have blending options, outer glow, and inner glow, and change inner glow to normal, and bring this to a very light purple-ish color. And bring the opacity down a little, just kind of. Next, what you want to do is just zoom out to one hundred percent, and then grab the elliptical marquee tool, oh, um, feather it and put it to about forty percent. Okay. Now create new layer and go to a uh, paint bucket and use a pattern. I use the Ally Basic Patterns and you can get that at brusheasy.com. It's a very it's um the one that are very first ones that came out. So what you want to do now is just click on one of these square ones here. See the way and press OK. Next what you want to do because it will come up in black go to blending options, color overlay, uh just make sure make that as a white click and change blending option to overlay. Next go to blending options default and bring your fill opacity to zero. Bring that over to and just click OK and go over here. And just wipe out where it's not needed. And that's basically it. So um you can continue down that kind of style around your edges using the ripple um pen tool and the line tool just keep going down the sides, go across and that's basically how I done my background uh, my background borders. It's a pretty nice effect if you do it with a bit, a bit more like effort and time put in. So yeah, just give it a go, and that's it, really. Thanks for watching. Rate, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Like, definitely like, and don't forget to like the video. Um, thanks. I'll see you later.